<laughs> I'm in pain, bro. I'm, in pain. I'm gonna take the day off tomorrow. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out. You out? Let's go. All right, let's go. I gotta breastfeed you. Let's go. things we do for you guys. I'm trying to Ow! That was my fat. <laughs> yeah, well. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Okay. Does that feel better? Guys, sorry, we have to have to wear this beautiful child by my breast because he doesn't want to stop crying. So I gotta make <laughs> sure he's feeling comfortable. Hi. Ready? Are we ready for this? Welcome back. Oh yeah, why don't you be rock for today? Uh, I'll be the helper. Okay, so help. today's an unboxing video. No. See what you do to me? Just kidding. Today is a <laughs> stock video with everything we have in stock, but we're gonna spice things up a little bit, you know, with some seasoning. So oh. right here we have little no I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> little minnows. Ah. And then we have pellets. Ah. Yo, albino. He's a little minnow. Yeah, little minnow. We can stop. You crying. wanna see? Here. You wanna eat one of them? Oh, no, please don't. No. <laughs> and we have some blood worms. We have some pallets. As we go around, we're gonna film and we're gonna feed and film all these guys for you guys to see it at home. Ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Finally, Lisa's back in front of the camera. She got makeup on today. Fish guy over here, he's hired because the last video was pretty good. Fish guy's girlfriend is over there. She leaning for him. She actually cleaned up this whole area. Look at this. Yeah, Man. look how nice. Go around. Beautiful. Made some box. I didn't even have to say a word. Some boxes, some foam. Yeah, yeah. I know you're proud of this guy, it's okay. Oh yeah, now we're happy. All right, so starting with the bang, it kind of looks like him right here, the banana arowanas. Now guys, we're a little poor over here so we don't have a light set up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that light up there. And Matt and Lisa are gonna go ahead and feed. Oh, thank you. So Kasha's over here holding the food. Are you gonna be able to reach? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so the arrows ate a lot yesterday. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna do a little bit of the floating krill to see if they'll go for that as well. But I think they're a little spooked with the light. See, you know, that tank hasn't had light in a long time, but let's see. Once they smell it, come on, baby, come on. Uh, don't make me look bad. You guys were eating yesterday. Ah, you know what? Right here, dude. Watch this. Oh, gross. This is the... <laughs> gross, what are you talking about? <laughs> Protein. Watch this. Now they're going to eat. Ah, you can't go wrong with that stuff. Everybody loves gross food. They have a big mouth. Yeah, look at that. Damn. Now they're talking about. Now they're showing that they're actually healthy and alive. Oh yeah. All right. Now that they're one is eight. Let's go to tank number two. This right here is one of the cross river puffers that we have. Look how pretty that guy is. Awesome spots on him. But we don't have any shrimp to feed him. We actually fed this tank yesterday. Matt, check it out. I want to show you something. We got to keep them separate so they don't fight. So over here we have a decent sized Fajaka bumper. Wow, you get the camera. Oh yeah, man. Good job, good job. All right, Fajaka's fat, just like uh, what they do. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look at this guy, dude. Oh, this guy is insane. He's so crazy, like mimicking where he lives that you can even see where he is. Now, watch, watch, I'm gonna show you. You saw that? I just touched his leg. He's not for sale. He's not for sale because uh, he wanted to be able to afford it. Right here. This is another crossover buffer. Awesome margins, really pretty fish. These guys are the holy grail on the buffer world. And they're all ready to go. They're acclimated, treated, quarantined, and healthy. Alright, let's go to tank number three. I gotta take my, my wife and kid home. My kid is starting to lose it again. Stay on the other one. And I don't want to get yelled by my wife. So, don't yell at me. Over here, what we have. Okay, so, it's hard to see, but each one of these tanks, can you see it in there? 
Yep. Right here, right here. So we have the golden whales. There's another one coming down there. So these guys, they're white. They have to be separated. And right now, that was what we had to look at the bottom one. We had to figure that out to keep them separated and alive without killing each other. So these guys are awesome, awesome fish. They can stand colder waters as well. They eat pretty much anything. So they would eat an air water this big. So make sure if you're getting one of these guys, you gotta put it with bigger fish because they do. They're not like a gopher, but they eat like a gopher. You still love me? Okay. Watch your eyes, bro. Yeah, my eyes were hurting. <laughs> so right here is Frank. Frank the lungfish, and he's not for sale, but he's huge, so we have to show him. And give me one second, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh. Sorry guys, I, I worked out legs yesterday. I was trying to show off to like all you know this group of like guys, <laughs> and um, I messed myself up. That's what you get. Yeah, I went six that's, plates on squat. That's what you get. Woo! For the group of guys. Yeah, to a group of guys, <laughs> just because they were looking. So yeah, so uh, Frank here is going to be on our showroom, and I can't wait to build his exhibit because he's an awesome, awesome fish. Matt, to your right. Do you know? What, oh, oh, Matt actually oh. knows where the right is, huh? Hold yeah. on, let me get that. Let me get that. Okay. I'm getting there, I'm All getting right. there guys. So this one here is a bunch of bags of media, so you can't really <laughs> see anything. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, come on you jerks. There you go. So these are the little yellow parrots. They're really, really pretty. It actually looks like a little ball of sunlight. Oh. Just kidding, they just look like fat fish. So, <laughs> I like them as well, but not my favorite type. Beautiful fish though. Hold on. Okay. I'm not making this up. Struggle city over here. <laughs> Alright, bear with me guys. We're on to the spider cowberries. Now these came in at a super super high quality. A beautiful fish. As you can see the yellow, the markings. I think that we might be sold out though, I'm not sure. But if I were to pick one, I would get the guy all the way on the corner there. You see him? He's really pretty. His markings are really cool. That that would probably be my pick. I agree. You agree? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, babe. We have a child together. Look, even Matt's calling. <laughs> <That one's laughs> <laughs> that was one down. You agree? It doesn't matter. Whoa, cameraman fell off on that one. All right. This is a uh, big Abba Abba. He's already sold. Wow. Hey, look at him. He's trying to show off. Beautiful fish. If you guys want a monster one like this, we can pre-order for you. We try not to bring him that size because, as you see, it would take the whole tank. Right here we have a smaller one. He's also ready to go. He's already eating shrimp. And these guys are amazing, amazing, amazing fish. Very, really pretty. There's another one over there, but they're pretty much all the same. All right, and they're all on the website. Oh, we didn't feed these guys. Let's try a little fish in there. Oh, the mm -hmm. peacocks either. Oh, mm -hmm. guys, we're slacking. Man, come on, dude. You gotta remind me of all this stuff. We gotta feed them. We gotta feed them. Yeah, dude. We gotta I'm feed them. I, I told everybody that this got. is. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> See, that's why it's good to have a tall cameraman. Watch this. It might be a little shy at first. Now, walk away, walk away. Uh, come on. You know you want. Uh. Once one goes, the other one's going to go after. Uh, look at Matt trying to be sneak hiding behind the kid, the pump. <laughs> I know, right? So they love that stuff. Usually fish loves that stuff. But watch, they will finish everything before the end of this video. We got to keep going though because it's uh, nighttime and uh, Kasha and Lisa here trying to go home. Are you trying to go home? Oh, you got goldfish? <laughs> okay. Snack time is the best time. We're going to try for the Chinese perch. Usually Chinese perch only eat live, you know, right away. So let's see if they'll go for these. Oh, he did, he did, they're going. They're going for the frozen fish, which is great. Even the barbs are going for it. But even if it sits here, the little leopard cactus will eat as well. So these are red phoenix barbs. They'll get the red color as they grow. They're awesome fish. Right now they're eating pellets. You know, these, these fish can't really fit in their mouth. And we have the Chinese perch, the whole group of them back there. We got some up here in the front. And these are awesome predators. They kind of look like a little detonoid, and a mixture of a detonoid and a barramundi, pretty much. Look at this little guy up here. 
Really cool. Oh, he just got the one. You saw it? The bottom? That's awesome. That's good to know that they're eating frozen. And then right here are the leopard cactus. These are, um, I was going to say homemade. <laughs> These are farm raised already, so they're not wild caught. They're really pretty. They're, they're picked for selection. Like they, they bred them for looks. So for example, they find the best looking parents and they breed them. Kind of like what happened to like Ryan, you know. Uh, to what? Which one? The tail. is the nice fan tail on that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Listen to what my wife said. Nice fan tail. That's what really matters. You like the tails. Yes. Let's throw some pallets in there. Thank you, Crusher. Uh, let's do the little guys here. Stuff is like gold. Your favorite flavor? Nope. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go, look at that. Even the Chinese perch is like in the mix, like, oh, come on, come on, is that fish? So they're gonna finish that up. And guys, these are not lasting. Like, we already sold a few of them. I don't even know if there's any left on the website. But we have about 40 orders already to ship from Monday. So if you see them on the website, grab them because they won't last. They're very desirable, just Ooh, like me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you left your hand. What? What happened? Oh, my bad, dude. Pound, my, pound, right? Oh, I'll pound, all right. Yeah. Let's keep going. Matt, this right here. Can you, can you, can you, you, t you gotta tell me what that is, dude. You're becoming the fish uh, guy. I know these guys. So these are? Jardinis. So these are Jardinis. They're Australian arowana. Really pretty fish. You know, they can really be with other types of arowanas. They'll fight even with themselves, but because there's so many in this group, they can't pick on each other. Like they don't know who to pick on, you know? So that's why we're able to keep them together. But their quality, their health, everything's really good on them. We're gonna try some little minnows in there just to see if they'll eat. And Oh, there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this game, annoying. So you guys saw they're eating. I'm not lying. All these fish are pretty healthy. We actually spent, you know, and you saw it too. The amount of men. Dude, we just cleaned the floor, he's bro. He's feeding everyone else. We just cleaned the floor. Good child. Okay. So, yeah, we the amount of uh, medicine we had to put on these guys. Even though they come in in good health, we want to make sure that they're, you know, perfect. I was going to show this to you. Look. I'm going to jump some tanks. I had these two fish right here. This guy just came in. Look at his tail. His tail is busted. His face, you don't even want to look at his face because he looks like he's losing, like, the shape of a fish. But you can come here from the side and see it. So I'm going to show you what I do to treat stuff like this. And I hope he makes it. I mean, it's pretty bad. He's still eating, which is a good sign. But we're literally medicating that tank every day to make sure this guy's alive. Not because it's an expensive fish. It would do that to any fish, whether they're cheap, expensive. It's the life of the fish that matters, and that's what we're all about. Right? Okay, Absolutely. good. <laughs> right. These guys are not for sale, but I will feed them a little bit for you to see. They're awesome fish as well. This is the Asian tarpon. And this guy, he got sick. He had like some bacteria infection he lost a lot of his uh, colors his fin is completely gone and now there's a little fin growing back I can't believe it I'm, I hope that his fin grows out perfect because he's a very very pretty fish that's a red tail hybrid tiger shovel nose but with a different color morph so it's kind of like you don't really see it you know it's almost like a Ryan not with that face he's morphing yeah, he's morphing on the, on the Cheez-Its. <laughs> okay, here, two of my favorite monster fish in the world. We have the Vitatas, which right there, you can see the bigger one there. This is school Vitatas, and the back one's there, Atlantic Tarpon. So Atlantic Tarpon gets really, really big. Vitatas will get to a decent size as well. And they're both awesome predator fish to have. But you gotta make sure you have the proper setup, the proper tank, because these guys will grow. They might not go for food right away because they're very oh, oh. He's smelling it, he's smelling it. No, I think they only eat like when we go away. And 
not gonna go for it right away. Oh, 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 he did, he oh. did, look at that. Little tiger fish there, you see it? It's destroying that fish, which is good. All right, I'm just gonna put a handful in there and just let them go at it. Oh, look, he caught it. See that big one over there? Oh yeah. Tiger fish are by far the number one predator fish in the world. Awesome, awesome guys. And as they grow, you see the size of their jaw, the size of their, their teeth. Uh oh. What's this guy doing here? Oh, shoot. Shoot, Lisa. Did he jump? Put him away. He escaped. <laughs> we have a prisoner that escaped. And he's going to eat the Atlantic tarpons now. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're having a great time here. Look at their faces. They're so happy to be here right now. So that's why we're trying to speed up this process. These are albino redhead geos. Awesome, beautiful fish. They can be a perfect addition to any tank. Now I sound I sound like a salesman now, but they are. They are very pretty fish. Look at the colors. Oh yeah, the light it makes a different around the light. Oh yeah. There's a little piece of rubber band in there. We gotta get it out. Oh. So let's them let let them eat. Let them let leave them <laughs> eating alone, so I can speak proper English in this joint. <laughs> All right, let's slice off. Okay, down here, uh, I think we have the, hold on, hold on. I'll get there. 20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. All right, so these guys are, <laughs> these guys are the, the, what are they again? They're the parrots. Oh yeah, the parrots. <laughs> the, tiger. Uh, the tiger parrots. Um, why do we have to put them on the bottom? I didn't know you really liked it. I know. So hopefully they'll start eating. But these were a selected grade as well. Really pretty fish, the markings, everything is amazing on these little guys. Let me see if I can get more light on them. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Some of them are already sold, so I don't know how many are left. But they're eating. They're just, right now they're a little shy with the light. You know, I don't like to eat in the light either. More like a vampire, you know. <laughs> Okay. It's not funny, dude. <laughs> oh, you squatting with a child? Okay. The lynch, the lynch eats a frog. Fish. Oh, shoot. I forgot to fish here. He's already sold. He's eating cut fish, frozen fish. But we should have more lynch coming in. Look how pretty this guy is. Now, lynch catfish, they get big. I've seen some close to three feet. They do need a big tank, a lot of space. They're fast swimmers. I actually seen occasions, not seen, but I heard of situations where the fish would get spooked and swim right into a tank and die. So if you have a big tank, those guys are also predators to have. If not, maybe you should go for something a little bit smaller so you don't hurt them as well. This dude right here is for sale. We actually pay a lot of money for him to bring him in. It was a uh, red tail, something else hybrid. It was something different. But they're a little aggressive towards other catfish of the same kind. It's a lot of little markings on him, different spots. But at the scene, at this point, I think we're huh? No, I don't think it was a vulture. I don't know if it was a giraffe nose. It wasn't a leopard either. It was it was weird. But I know we we paid a lot of money for them. And uh, one sold, and now we have that guy left. So if you want him, and you uh. Want to send me some money? I'll take the donation. <laughs> so now we can go to the back. So these are the red monkey flower horns. They're beautiful fish. I had to separate them because they're gonna start messing with each other. And it's funny because their colors change. So they go from like super red to like light. You know, once they acclimate to the tank, their true colors will really come out. I posted a video of one of them. I think it was the one with the biggest head. And he was super red on that video. So even you said it, remember that yesterday that one was red and this one was and now yeah. they switched. Yeah, yeah. So I think once you take them home and acclimate them, their colors will come back. But these guys are very personable. I mean, they'll, they'll beat the crap out of your hands if you leave it in the tank. But really cool fish though. And these are a species of flower horn. Red monkey flower horn. All right, let's go to the second monkeys here. Okay, in this tank right here, we have one gopher left, but I think he kind of like went by the heater a little bit. He's all the way back there. We got some Irwinis, which is the one with the yellow. 
And we have some jaguar catfish down here. Oh, moving on, moving on. You can walk backwards, that's cool. Yeah. All right, right here we have a group of clown knife fish. And clown knives, they're so weird. They will eat like crazy. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Food lady. She's on the way on the other side. Oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> food lady. <laughs> food lady, sorry, food lady. They actually eat this stuff too, so which is good. Let's see. Maybe they don't eat on camera. Some people are a little shy, you know? But they were eating. Oh, yeah, look, they're already eating. They're not shy at all. It's just they might be shy on the light. So let me take the light out. Yep. There you go. So this food is amazing. We're actually going to import it to sell this food. Down here, we have the African pikes, which they should eat some of that stuff too. I hope. You know, a lot of times when these fish come from the wild, they, they don't eat right away. So hopefully, eventually they'll get to the frozen foods. If not, the Raphael, the little striped Raphael's back there, they'll get to it. Those guys are so unique looking because their stripes are like perfect on both sides. It's like almost like they're like machine printed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bunch here too. Yeah, there's a bunch by the heater. They're smart, they stay by the they're heater. Chilling. All right, let's go to uh, another tank. Right here is a big group of baby red tails. And I'll, I'll watch. See how they act right now, right? Now watch this. Let me do a little blood warm. I prefer doing a blood warm when it's a little frozen. So I don't get blood in my hands. But now I'm gonna get blood in my hands. It's a little gross. Oh yeah. Squirted that all out. Nasty. Ah, dude. All over me. Now watch their, once they smell, watch the way they're gonna react to it. These little cichlids are called Toba cichlid. We only have three of them. But once the, the catfish smells the food. They're starting to move around, starting to move around. I wanna see if the ones back there will come too. Look, they're starting to smell, you see it? You see how they, out of nowhere, they start moving around, look right here, right here. Oh yeah. Because once they smell the food, they go crazy. Yeah, these are cute. Brian, what the he's hell, he's dude? The fish. No, he's feeding the floor. Yeah, feeding the dogs, Tank, that's all you do. Yeah. Well, okay. that's why Tank is so fat. All right. Chunky. Do a little more for them. Then now, look at the whole tank is like moving around, like just looking for food. It's amazing. All right. Right here we have these clown loaches. And they're about three inches already, which is pretty cool. It's very hard to get them at a decent size. Let me put the light there for you to see. There's a whole school of them, and all of them are around three inches. Maybe some are even a little bit bigger. But they're awesome, awesome fish. Right here we have little, about five, six inches alligator, not alligator, uh, long nose gar. We only have three of them. Over there on the side we have a marble eel. It's pretty cool. So we got a group of uh, cool fish in this tank. But they're all, they don't really eat on the light. So we're gonna turn the light off and let them eat. They're not like a red tail, you know? These guys. Those are cool. These are the albino iridescent sharks. So you see this tiny little fish, they can get to like three, four feet. You know, so make sure if you're getting one of them, again, you're gonna need the setup for it. It's gonna take time, but it's not fair put this fish in like 30, 40 gallon, even 75, because they'll get too big for it. All right, they're gonna eat. And then these are Kelberry peacocks, wild Kelberry. And down there, it's a little hard to see because the bottom is dark, but those little guys right there, can you see it? Yep. Those are uh, Sergi's bichers. Oh, there's some right here in the front, so it'd be easier. So it's some whole baby tank right here. Tank full of babies. Let's go ahead and feed the babies. Peacocks should go for it, everybody should go for it. Oh yeah. It's crazy, right, how they eat. 
It's just so crazy though. Uh, oh, even little biker over there looking for food. Those guys are more scavengers, see? Like they don't really hunt for food, they just sit on the bottom. Whenever they smell something dead or a piece of meat just sitting there. You know, sometimes a piece of meat just sits there. And uh, they'll grab it. Let's go to another tank. Down here, I fed them yesterday, so I'm not gonna feed them today. These are the hyphen loaches. So we have uh, about six of them, around seven, eight inches, a good size. And then to your left, man, those are pretty cool over there. And they're eating pellets, blood worms. These are about five inches. I fed them yesterday, so I'm not gonna feed them today. But they're all doing pretty good. Here, we have the albino ruby oscar. That's what these are, albino ruby oscar. And they're pretty. They got this nice little bright orange color to it. And then down there, we have the tiger shovel nose. Awesome predator as well. Let's go ahead and put some food in here and see how they eat. We're gonna do blood worms for them. So we do blood worms for the Oscars. We also eat pellets. And give me a little bit of the fish, please. We tried to get a little bit of these guys for the tiger shovel nose. But sometimes if it's too big, oh no, dude, right on my hand. Just cut in half. And look, he's gonna find it. Watch, ready? Oh, oh, he's smelling it. He's smelling it. Boom, he took it. See? Ooh. He took it. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Put all of them in there. Let them go for it. Look, this guy's right here. He's gonna find another one, too. It's funny how they smell the food and they just, they, they know exactly where to go. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> I, was just, I was just talking good about you, now you're going the wrong way, not you, the fish. Yeah. Right here, we have some red dovi, which is like right there, one. This tank is a little bit scratched up, so we're gonna have to polish all these tanks. These are like some rainbow, um, fish they're really pretty and then down here we have look you can see two little heads right there there is a little fire yos I had some tiger yos well but they sold out there's some over there too yeah one's hanging out up here oh, look at that smart oh, over here oh look oh. at that whole school bunch of little guys and they can get massive too that's pretty cool about them very smart fish too very personable here we have a whole school of random fish. So we have some electric blue acaras, that red shoulder, a uh, severum sold. Right there we got some parrots, uh, frontosa. Wow, that frontosa is really beautiful. You see the markings on them? Really pretty fish. Oh yeah. And right here in this tank we got some lapidates. They should eat this stuff here. Wow, dude, look at the size of this beast. Whoa. Compared to the other ones, look how tiny the other ones are. So you know what, let's just put this beast in here. Let's see who's gonna get it. Oh, he went for it already, you saw that? You didn't waste no time. No, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that. Oh, these guys are awesome. Gone. They get really big as well. These are pretty. You know what I like about them? Look at this, the scales on the top. The fins, looks like a dragon, right? Really pretty fish. As you see, they pooped a lot because I fed them a lot yesterday. So I'm not gonna feed them a lot today. Matt, that angle kind of get my, my bottom fat. <laughs> so uh, can you get up, please? Thank you. Huh? Yeah, well, I, I, I messed up my beard, so I don't have a protection. <laughs> can I have a shield? Yeah, I used to have a shield. <laughs> this one right here, we have albino pacus. Oh, yoli, 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 yoli. Yay! Good, Ryan, keep being happy, okay? Daddy's almost done. I gotta do this so I can buy you diapers. The taco? These albino pacus. And. found this. Oh, those are good here. Yeah. Here you go, food lady. Thank you. Is the fish man and the food lady. Oh, yeah. 
can't go wrong. <laughs> That's all you need in, in, a, in a fish hobby. All right. They love this stuff. Even the angelfish, the pockles, everybody. It's small enough to fit in their mouth. Don't make any funny comments <laughs> about that. All right, so they're eating, they're getting there. Let's go ahead and jump to another tank. Now these little guys here are pretty cool. So here we have the albino heckalize, little babies. And the, wait, these are, oh, Haitian, the Haitian cichlids, a group of Haitian cichlids. And these little guys are, um, Hey babe, yeah. what's the name of the the little bitrus? Just tell me some names so I can remember. No. Turkey, no. Bashir, Bashir. No. And the cherry. And the cherry. Oh yeah, you remind me. And the cherry. <laughs> she didn't even say the right name. I had to. Well, I had to I guess the name. All the rest of them, so you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, mommy! All right, not too much because they're just baby fish. So let's see here. Oh, you like that one? Oh. Yeah, they, these guys are aware about the light because they, they eat really good, but maybe because of the light, they just started going for it. Man, those are the Haitian signals. Down here. These definitely don't like the light, so we're not gonna, actually I'm just gonna turn it off. Just leave it for you guys to see it. These are the dolphin fish. We only have a few of them, but right now they're eating blood worms. They're probably not gonna eat on camera. They're very shy fish. Yeah, no, you can, we, can, we don't even have to bother. They're not gonna eat. They're not gonna come? Not on camera, no. I want them to do their thing. They'll get to it. They're more like a night feeder. Okay, in this tank right here, we have Black Widow from Tozas. That's just some really pretty ones. I have the Cutter Cichlid. And the Silver Vieja. So I have three species of cichlids in this tank. And they all are eating pellets. And they're actually pretty healthy too. So let's go ahead and feed them. Food lady, please. Oh, no, I forgot that one already. No. Thank you. All right, they should go crazy for this stuff. That's so cool, right? How they just keep going and eating and build another one, another one. Nope, oh, they're going higher and higher. Yeah. They realized. The smarter ones are on the top. <laughs> Those are really cool. Yeah, whatever you said. Exactly right. Yep. In this tank right here, they're all they hiding. We've got some African cichlids. Just to, uh, I ordered to see how they are. But it's hard to see the true beauty because the tank is so cloudy. And that's the tank alone. No, it's, it's not, it's not. It's not that, it's just the tank is cloudy. Even with spit, it doesn't clear really well. So. No, it's all right. No, I think these were it's, all white. It's, it's, it's the way it needs to be buffed. But there's some really pretty ones in there. They're gonna be on the website for you guys. Up here, these are actually pretty cool. These are the panda Whoa. barbs. I love the way they swim. Top, we have a few more silver iguanas, which are beautiful fish. Look at this guy. He, I think he was born without one eye. Oh, 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 shoot. In this tank right here, we have these Amazon puffers, those little guys. And we have all these plecos right here. It's a mixture of plecos, so I'm not even going to talk about it. It's, they're all on the website for you guys. But they do. We do have the L200s, the blue eye panakis. It's just a mixture of plecos. And I also want to get more plecos. Actually, I want to do a Brazil order with more plecos. There's another red monkey right here. Can't read me. I mean, if you can't hear me, right there, red monkey. Look at that flower horn in that cage, though. Look how pretty that thing is. Beautiful, right? He's a uh, timeout. He beat up a, a roommate. 
over here we have the red tail barracudas. I'm gonna throw some frozen in there too, but they might not go for it right away. Especially with the light. They're not off. Um, Hey, hey. Oh, he went for it. Got it. Holy crap. He went for it hard, too. That one? Yeah. Just one of them. Two of them. Oh, two of them. Okay. Well, as we move, they might just keep going down and grabbing them. They're looking at it. Yeah. All right. Let's leave them alone. <laughs> Up here, we have some garamis, giant garamis, the golden garamis, some Asian red tails. Not many. I think we might be sold out on them. But throw a little bit of food for the Grammys. So guys, this is what we do on Saturdays. We have to feed them because we ship Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. So we do, we purge them on Sunday and Monday by Monday afternoon when they're getting ready to be shipped out, the fish are purged. We just don't feed them a lot. There you go. Okay. These guys are really cool. They already ate all their food while man was changing the memory card. They were too quick on me. Yeah, they are too quick. All right. Last tank for now because we got more shipments coming in. These are the Ruby Oscars, not albino, regular Ruby Oscars. And then down there, look at this. Look at the size of these corridors, dude. They're huge. They're like bigger than a finger. So we got the corridors. I don't know what they are. They should be on the website. And we have a whole school of them over here. We have the little pandas back there. I the thorny the catfish. Emeralds. These catfish are really cool, though. Wait, you said this emerald? I think these are emeralds, yeah. You into a cor your corridors? Yeah, yeah. I have yeah, I have one that's a year old and he's like maybe half his he's size. Not that big, nah, he's half his size. So this guy's probably what two years old then? Yeah, I mean, maybe. They look pretty cool dude. Look at it. Yeah. So we're gonna throw some blood worms in there for them. Blood worms, thank you for the lady. And uh dude, these guys got a mug on their face. <laughs> They're like you know what? They got like a mug. <laughs> the way they look. Oh, like an angry face? Yeah. You to push your food down as fast as possible because the Oscars will get it all. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. He's going for it. It's, like it's crazy how, like, how long his barbs are. You see it? Yep. Oh, and uh, all right, so we're gonna shut the light off, let all these fish eat their food. Okay, yeah, you wanna one. finish it up? Yeah, we gotta feed this other fish here. But for now, this is it. We sold a lot of fish as well. Thank you for the lady. Um, this two can go back in the freezer. Oh yeah. Here, the light. Bring me the light. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Ugh. This was uh, just a little video to show you everything that we had in stock. We are getting more fish in, so stay tuned to the unboxing videos, Instagram, Facebook. If you don't follow us on social media, you can follow us there. We put little funny videos. I mean, they're funny, some of them are not. But it's all the managers, it's all about fish, and we got them coming for you guys, all right? If you have any questions or anything here, you can send us an email, livefish at redtoyfins.com. If you want any of this fish, they should be on the website already. If they're not, just let us know, and this is it. I mean, there's nothing much to it, right? Anything else you want me to say? No? no All right, I'm hungry. Do. I'm going to go home. My legs are killing me. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.